Office, please. Well, tell him it's Martin Trout, then he may not be quite so busy. Hello? Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, the lot that works. Him and her together, yeah. No, no. Uh, by the pool at her place in the country. Yeah. Tongues in a reef knot. Yeah, at one point, he's his, uh, has his toe off her nose. Yes. Look, this is thermonuclear. Profumo doesn't come into it. My battery's going a bit low, so uh, I'll give you a buzz back when uh, I get to Victoria. OK? Bye. Sorry about this. Uh... Oh, please. No, it must be in here somewhere. Oh. Anyway, you well? Yeah, I must have slipped through a hole in the line. Yeah, cheer up. I just earned myself 100,000 quid. Uh. <laughs> oh. Did you bring 80? 80 nothing. You agreed 100 sight unseen. 100 if a story checked out. Don't mess me around, John. Look. I am holding in my hand a little stick of dynamite that will blow this country apart. Look, if you're not interested, I have a little phone number in Wapping. I'm sure they... Yes, that's your idea. Hello! Uh, can you put well, me through to I'll your get, uh, customer... I'll get a cab department, please. right away and get over to me. <laughs> yeah, on, on, on your desk in... Relations. Sorry, I couldn't quite... No, 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 I don't want personal. I don't want to talk to someone. I want to complain about one of your products. I can come to you directly. Yes, yes, it means they are. Hang on a second. Hello? Hello? Yes, they were. 55 bloody pounds they cost me. 55. Put them on brand new this morning to go on holiday, and what happens? I'll show you what bloody well happens. You hear that? Your foot. I've never in all my life known such shoddy bloody work. Who are you? Superman's granddad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can't hear myself think with you shrieking about like a rutting gibbon. Shrieking like a... Who the hell's shrieking? Who's shrieking? A hand grenade could go off in your mouth and no one would hear it. For God's sake, show some consideration to the rest of the human race and shut your bleeding trap. <laughs> are you quite finished? No. Your socks are too loud as well. <laughs> Here I am, trying to make an important phone call. Oi! Can't you see this booth is occupied? You're trying to access my Mercury yeah, facility and use my... There was no one here. What was I supposed to... Oh! Hello. <laughs> Hello, are you still there? Yes. Well, I can tell you now, you haven't heard the end of this. Who are you phoning anyway? Oh, it doesn't matter. I forgot to cancel the Sunday papers, that's all. Margaret! Mr. Meldrew! We're going to miss it! Yes! Coming! Some of them cancel the Sunday papers. The sordid crap they keep filling them with. They need to get away from them for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that, some goon shooting his mouth off nitrogen to the dozen. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, uh, if I bring the roll of film round to you... Roll of...
Portuguese pen friend. Bet that's fun. Yes. Of course, his English is a bit better than my Portuguese. We've been writing to each other for 13 years, it must be now, but never got round to meeting. The engines have stopped. Why have they done that? Just completely cut out altogether. And then, a couple of years ago, he lost his wife. I recently got divorced, and we both thought it was a good chance to take the plunge. Quite an adventure for you. My God, Files, did you hear that? What is it now? I just overheard one of those stewardesses whispering to her colleague, we're all doomed. <laughs> I swear I did. It went by just then. Why is no one else panicking? Of course. I'd be a bit nervous about going over there on my own. So the three of us decided to rent a little villa and have a bit of a holiday for a couple of weeks. Who's that? Who heard that just then? Oh, spare us. That noise, like the sound of a wing coming loose. <laughs> there was the sound of someone being hit over the head with a bottle of duty-free scotch in a minute. For God's sake, give over and try going to sleep or something. How can I go to sleep with all this turbulence? <laughs> How could we have turbulence? We haven't left the bloody runway yet. Yes, there's another thing. It'll be a hundred times worse once we're in the air. get to our villa before the dawn of the next ice age. I, I, I can't drive fast, Mr. Meldrew. Not on these narrow mountain roads. Fast? <laughs> did exactly crash with the sound barrier in that two carriageway in Lisbon, did we? I mean, that was the ultimate insult being overtaken by two blokes pushing a transit van. <laughs> Still, it's nice to know that in temperatures of 100 degrees, the car rental firm has thoughtfully provided us with this, isn't it? I mean, don't they speak English at that place, for goodness sake? Presumably not, as they're all Portuguese. Yes, everyone else may be melting to death in the roads, but not us. Because we have a car with hair conditioner. <laughs> I mean, what in the name of sanity did you think we wanted it for? Make sure the roof rack was more shiny and manageable? <laughs> Put a lid on it. We're supposed to be on holiday. Just stop moaning and enjoy the scenery. Never going to get to that villa tonight with Nigel Mansell here at the wheel. But this will end. What do they queer when they come? Whether it's wise to go any further before morning. Jean's dog tired. I could do with some shut out. I wonder if they do rooms here for the night. Well, I suppose they must do. Why don't I go and ask? I'll be a chance to use my Portuguese. Well, a fine start this is doing to the proceedings. Guys, whenever we go anywhere, it's just one hideous catastrophe after another. Russia, cinco uh, mil escudas is também. Ah, mais que bem. Prefiro que ela cheia de mais. Mais, 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 I gather he's got a room to show you first, Mrs. Warboy. See if it's to your liking. I get first pick, do I? <laughs> Hello. I go with you? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> you look like a very hot lady. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm not used to your climate, I'm afraid. 
I just hope for your sake this villa is up to scratch when we finally get there. Said all along we should get a place from a proper holiday firm, not a classified ad in Zit magazine. <laughs> That's just a bit of faith. So there was a charming little villa that would suit any couple down to the ground. I'd have a bit of faith if the photograph they sent hadn't been touched up with Tipex. Held it up to the light, I swear I could see a condemned sign underneath. Well, I'm telling you now, if we get to this place and it's a... <laughs> to try out my Portuguese. You never, ever learn, do you? It wasn't my fault. He just got the wrong end of the stick. Oh, that's nothing to what Jean nearly got the wrong end of. The woman is having nightmares now every time she sees a zip. <laughs> Where are you going? Watch your speed. Yes, we well, I Oh, I don't believe it. That's all we need. What is? O que é que o senhor está a pensar fazer? Não me viu fazer-lhe sinal ali atrás para parar? Sabe qual é o limite de velocidade nesta estrada? O automóvel caso que ia parar ali uma valeta. O senhor não esteve a beber hoje à noite? Ah, sou inglês. Devia ter adivinhado. Someone very nearly assaulted our friend. Yes, he wanted to do something beginning with H. What was that? You work it out. Tem sorte em não multar desta vez. Futuro, veja se tem mais cuidado. Ah, sorry? Perigosa. English. Uh, now you comprehend. We were on our way to a holiday villa. Isto é um sítio difícil de encontrar esta hora e as estradas são perigosas. É melhor sair. Bom, saiam, por favor. Vamos e o meu colega seguirá depois no vosso automóvel. Vocês venham comigo. Look, if it's about what happened in that uh, pub, we didn't mean to cause any trouble. If you could just speak to the British Council or anybody who's speaking to the British Council. Look, if ah, e se vão dormir aqui, mantenham a porta bem fechada. Os ratos podem tornar-se muito esfomeados durante a noite.
watch has stopped. Half past five in the afternoon. Eighteen hours. Not a thing to eat. Can't even have a bath. Sixty years old I'll be next month. Sixty years of waiting for something nice to happen. Will you let us out of here? We haven't done anything wrong. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me out there or what? Hello? Realize now that's the only thing that's kept me going. The hope that one day things might be different. That one day, well, I suppose it was being over romantic, I could go on a nice holiday to Portugal and come home again afterwards. <laughs> Instead of being left to rot to death in the set of Midnight Express, <laughs> charged with geriatric pimping. But your leg muscles starting now. Oh, need to stretch my legs, I think. Yes. Well, I'm sure there'll be plenty of time for that when they put us on the rack. My God, you're not serious. Is it still legal to garrote people over here? Well, let's hope so. <laughs> I let you take us to that thing. It was so cruel. It was like something out of Roman times. How can you say it was cruel? The matador is in no real danger. If the bull gets too close, they stab it to death with swords. How can it be cruel? It's cruel to the bull. Cruel to the bull? Man, whose side are you on? We're on the side of decency and human compassion, Dad, as it happens. All right. Of course I forgot. My son, the compassionate welterweight, with no thirst for blood. Can you wonder that he lost 11 of his last 12 fights? Does that surprise anyone in this car? I had a run of bad luck. That's all it was. No. The reason is, you want to know the reason? It's because you haven't got the killer instinct. 35 years in this business, I think I know what the game's about. It's about hate. You have to hate the person. You have to physically want to beat the living crap out of the man you're boxing. What it's not about. What it's not about is stopping halfway through round five to inquire about his mother's arthritis. <laughs> Before this holiday is over, we're going to work on this attitude problem of yours. If I can make you dislike just one person to bring out that hidden aggression, it may just give me hope for your future. But how many times, Dad? I don't have any hidden aggression because I never let people upset me. <laughs> See? Look at me. I miss the cool. Which is something you should try sometime. You might live a bit longer. Would you believe it? What's that? That manky old dump across the road. You know, the one the travel agent said was only being held together by cockroach droppings. What about it? There's a car outside. Must belong to them demolition people. No, look, the suitcase is on the roof. My God. Do you know, I think they've actually conned someone into staying there. Must be some serious brain damage. <laughs>
true. Oh, that. No, wait. I think I can see a string of bratwurst sausages just breaking up nicely in the next branch. Of course, it's all there is. It's a bloody lemon tree. What else do you expect to find on it? We haven't eaten in two days. Give it here. I suppose there's no sign of life out there still. Oh, I can't make it out. There's no officers, no vehicles. The place is as quiet as a graveyard. I can't see much through these trees at all if it comes to that. I can just make out a sign on the gate. Something. Da Quemada. Police station, is that? And some chickens. I mean, it can't be so remote. There's no one on duty in the hall. Don't you remember? We thought they were arresting us. They were just bringing us to the house. That other officer must have picked up the keys on the way from... 36 hours we've spent wallowing in our own filth-sucking lemons. A charming villa to suit any couple, such as who? Bill Sykes and Nancy? By the looks of it, we'll be lucky if it's got a bloody roof. <laughs> Now, hopefully. <laughs> so, yes, 6.30. And looking forward to meeting you in the flesh at long last. See you then, Afonso. Bye.
suppose this new aftershave is going to be launched on the public again today like chemical warfare, is it? <laughs> I'll be putting it on in just a second, yes. One that makes you smell like a donkey. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to risk this bed linen. Just as well we brought some of our own. Did you bring that other case? Oh, there it is. I don't know where you get that from. I mean, I'm hardly likely to pay £3.47 for an aftershave that makes me smell like a donkey, am I? <laughs> Perfectly good aftershave. I don't know why you've been such a downer on it. Did all this when you brought the case down. <laughs> have you taken it out? I said I hadn't taken it out. You said you were going to do everything. Pack all the sheets and towels in it on Friday. I said, why do I have to do everything? I asked you to pack all the sheets and towels. <laughs> I laid them all out on the spare bed ready. You must have seen them when you took the bloody thing down to the car. Well, I did. <laughs> I've got to lie on in bed now, is it? Ten years' worth of access statements and a hundred copies of the visa? We even had to pay excess baggage to bring it here! <laughs> I'm sure we can happily find a use for this. <laughs> I'll just go and see if there's some cheese. Right. <laughs> I believe it's called the Heimlich Maneuver. I saw it demonstrated once by Susan Strengths and Magpie. Oh, did you? It would be easier for a chance to use it. Are you sure you're all right, Dan? I'm so grateful. I don't know what to say. Yes, well, it's getting on, I think, and we don't want to keep your friend Alfonso waiting, do we? Perhaps you'd like to put her down now, Victor? You've just saved the woman from choking. You don't want to kill her with the aftershave. <laughs> The non-specific urethritis is not giving you too much trouble tonight, I hope. The scalding sensation is now improving a little, yes? Slightly, yes. <laughs> I feel as if I'm walking through a dream. To think that I'm actually here after all these years. A shame we never got to meet Maria. Two years, is it now, since the accident? They never found her body, presumably. 
And I don't suppose they ever will. <laughs> My wife for 26 years. Sometimes she would walk home from the town along the cliff tops. It is a beautiful walk, but very dangerous close to the edge. So many times I tell her to be careful that the ground can so easily crumble beneath your feet like dry fruit cake, you know. But one day she goes into town. She never came back. They found one of her shoes on top of the cliffs, the other on the rocks below. A torn piece of her dress caught on some driftwood. The current must have swept her far out to sea. Three weeks later, off the Estoril coast, two skin divers find an octopus holding a Gucci handbag. <laughs> but I know it is hopeless. She is gone forever. Three weeks' time would have been her 53rd birthday. Just before yours, then. She was 60 next month. Can I ever forget it? <laughs> oh, I may have moved. <laughs> Lovely, now just one more. Lean in. Lovely. <laughs> oh, it's another roll finished. I seem to have a bag full of these things. I don't know where they all come from, suddenly. It's been a terrific evening, Alfonso. I'm afraid I've <laughs> fallen in love with your house. May we take it back with us? Of course. But you will find it is far too big for one person. For two, perhaps. Not so bad. I was beyond me. Tomorrow you will ring me, Jean, and I show you the wonders of the Algarve. And perhaps we take you scuba diving, Victor. Yes. Have you got any concrete flippers? <laughs> Nothing. Good night, Alfonso. Good night. Good night. Bye, Alfonso. And thank you again. seem to get on like a house on fire. Really? It must have been a terrible ordeal for him losing his wife like that. He obviously loved her very much. Did you think so? What do you mean? Just thought it was a bit odd, that's all. He showed us around every room. There wasn't a single photograph of her in the house. No. No, I've actually managed to lay my hands on it again as such. But it must be round here somewhere. Yeah, ten to one, it's in her own bag. In which case, I'll um, have to pick my moment. Listen, you get that front page ready for Sunday, and you better wear asbestos gloves, because these pictures are hot. <laughs> Talk to you soon. <laughs>
anything I think was even better looking in the flesh than his photographs. <laughs> I must have been a big disappointment. Yes, I expect so. What's that supposed to mean? Sorry? Go to bed. Skin's gone all dry now. I should put something on my face. Try a pillow. <laughs> your shoes on? I put that mouse trap down near the bathroom door. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wasn't, was I? What? A disappointment. I think you know the answer to that as well as I do. <sighs> it's funny. In the first few months after Chris left, I was almost ready to drink the Domestos. <laughs> it never occurred to me that one day I might... <laughs> just listen to me. <laughs> like some sort of silly schoolgirl. <laughs> Have a good night, Jean. See you in the morning. Night, Margaret. <sighs> you know, this place isn't as bad as all that, really. Once you get used to it. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Meldrew. Night, Mrs. Warbards. Night. Some of these developed today, if we can find somewhere. What time are you seeing our phone, sir? We said ten at the golf house. So if you just drop me at the bus stop, I'll be fine. Well, here he comes, the silver surfer. <laughs> I don't think Tom Cruise has got anything to worry about, do you? You two ready? We've been ready for half an hour. We were waiting for you to finish faffing about up there. Faffing about up there. Yourself? Yes. It's lovely. Victor? What? Oh, yes. Uh. 
Thank you. Mm, delicious. Mm. Thank you very much. <laughs> what way you going, you blundery wait out? Why don't you just bury me alive with a shovel and have done with it? I'm sorry. Did a bit of sand go up your nose? I'll come and poke it out for you if you like. Oh, no! Look at that now. I've knocked over your bottle of embalming fluid. I'm sorry about that, man. I really am. <laughs> Think up for God's sake! Who that? Things look like they've been pebble dashed now. <laughs> I'll go wash it all off. It's always a good idea to remain perpendicular to the canvas. That way the audience gets a better view. If we ever got sponsorship, they'll have to put the product logo on the soles of your shoes, because that's the only angle the camera ever see you from. <laughs> oh, hello. What have you brought me this time? Some roast beef and Yorkshire pudding? Yes. Mmm. Thank you. God, you're wonderful, Dad. And you're doing a wonderful job trying to wake me up. So, unfortunately, I'm on my holiday. No one in the world is going to upset me. Now, can you understand that? Small little zone. Why can't you just accept it, Alfred? Your son is a really sane and sensitive individual. And that kind of self control is a really bad right quality these days. <laughs> But there's not you or anyone else can possibly phase them out. <laughs> hey, watch out for the jellyfish. Oh, hello. Oh, you. Oh, don't you remember? Shoe shop. Isabella, you squeeze me very tightly, I think. <laughs> you want a drink? Yes, I think perhaps I will. Thank you. Sandals, look at that. I know they'll wear this again. <laughs> nice walk. What? Yes. Oh, guess what? I ran into um, Isabella, the lady from the shoe shop. Oh, yes. Head first, evidently. <laughs> what did she have stuck in her throat this time? Your tongue? I th what the hell's that supposed to mean? She just stopped by to say thank you for that episode. And I'll see you back at the car. Ha <laughs> ha 
said you should have come to the golf with us. You want to see Alfonso swing? Oh, like poetry in motion. Oh, there's another roll to put in, by the way. Uh, did you find a shop for the others? I forgot every word about it, actually. Better start getting ready. I've only got three hours. <laughs> Are you sure you won't change your mind about tonight? It's supposed to be a lovely drive, right up through the mountains. And Alfonso said the food is out of this world. Now, you and Victor go. I'm not really in the mood. Mm. Of course, a good detective show. I love that. The Poirots and Miss Marples. It's something I think we always do much better than the Americans. Uh, apart from Colombo, of course. You have to admire the way they, they get all that period detail of the 70s exactly right like that. It's a real credit to them. All that period detail? That's because they were made in the 70s. <laughs> the Colombos. They were You've drunk and we haven't started eating yet. And then again, none of it's as grisly as real life, is it? Oh, you remember that case in Ostrich Gardens? Man with one arm went off with that girl from Do It All. They fell in love while he was changing a light bulb. <laughs> well, he was a nasty piece of work from all accounts. Sure you can't change a light bulb if you've only got one arm. <laughs> You can if you've still got the receipt. Anyway, they reckon he did his wife in the finish. Drowned her in the bath, with Charlie Chester turned up loud to cover the screams. Then buried the body under the dog kennel in the back garden and made out she just got it. Well, quick, quick, quick. For God's sake, we need to stop this. I'm sorry. When you talk of drowning, the memory is still very painful. Forgive me, I should not have shouted. Oh, no, 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 no. It was my fault. I don't know what I was thinking of. I had made up my mind. I could hardly keep my eyes open. <laughs> Go back now, Jean, and sleep well, and I will call you in the morning. Night, Alfonso, night! Night! <laughs>
There won't be a second. as you can. For God's sake, be careful! Hospital mortuary to make an identification. Uh, 
Tenho muita pena de vos fazer vir aqui em circunstâncias tão trágicas. He say he's very sorry to bring you here under such circumstances. Peço-vos que se preparem para um choque. Não é uma visão muito agradável. He say to prepare yourself, as it is not a very pleasant sight. Tanto quanto sabemos, o pé da senhora foi engolido por um tubarão. He say it appears that her foot was bitten off by a shark. Oh my God! <laughs> Encontrou nos intestinos de um barracuda morto. O meu trabalho é tentar descobrir a quem pertence o pé. He say a fisherman from Porsches found it in the stomach of a dead barracuda. Now I try to find out who it belongs to. Find that who it belongs What is this? A new version of Cinderella by David Lynch? Why is upset enough as it is without you shoving these grisly atrocities like this underhand? Wait, 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 just a minute. That's not her foot. What do you mean? She had a large bunion on her big toe. She showed it to me two nights ago. Are you sure? And she always cuts her toenails neater than that. No, I'm positive. Whoever this belonged to, it definitely wasn't Jean. Some sort of kamikaze dating agency. <laughs> I just cannot believe she was left there like that. In that condition. Next to a complete sheer drop. In total darkness. Yes. I have no point blaming herself. <laughs> You to have trussed her up in a sack and thrown her in. Oh, for goodness You sake. have never liked the woman as long as you've known her. To you, she was just a gibbering old bat who called round twice a week to polish off our digestive biscuits. <laughs> a plague of locusts with earrings, was it? You called her? <laughs> you never took a thing she said seriously. Or had so much as a civil word for her. Well, I just hope you're satisfied. Mark, is that all? Bugger off, I'm a no good for your Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 Love you. Bye. A fisherman's offered to drive him over, so... Oh, can't believe it. So, how did he sound? Oh, he sounded... tired, I suppose. Maybe he'll grab some sleep on the way back. Now, now, now!
Five yards now without getting a snout up my backside. <laughs> Who runs their marketing research department? Muffin them, you. I'll get it. It's not heating up properly in that tap now. I think it must be a fault in the boiler. Do you know anything about it? seven hours of total sensory deprivation, throwing up and pulling live herrings out of my underpants. <laughs> Only to be driven back here by a trained chimp inside a vehicle with all the comfort of a runaway cement mixer. All because wacky races across the road tells me someone's fallen into the sea, when all that's happened is her bloody shoes come off. <laughs> you want to know how I feel? In words of one sudden syllable, this is how I feel. Hugo! Yes, yes, you can do it! Go, go! Go, go, go! It's in there. I always knew it was in there. I think I need a bath. <laughs> Are we coming back here after lunch? I expect so. I might go and apologize to that bloke over there at later on for last night and everything. Right. So, there. Obviously, you would like some time. I...
cannot expect you to give an answer right away. Oh. <laughs> I know it's barely a week since we met face to face, but of course, over the years already, I've... I feel I've got to know you. I'm sorry. It will be that business call. Please forgive me, Jean. My mouth's gone quite dry. I'll go and get us a refill. No, fair is fair. Yeah, I, I've much you about. Now, I understand. I have much you about. Tell you what I'll do. New offer. I'm prepared to let you have it for a hundred grand, less the cost of processing and developing. Which, uh, according to my notes here, comes to £999,995.67 p. Or about five quid for every bone I've had broken in my body getting the bloody thing back. Yeah, should, should be here in a second, yeah. Yeah, on its way. Hot from the presses. Obrigado. Yes, sir. You'll be pleased to hear that I have in my hand the merchandise. Print and negatives of a set of photographs that is going to send shockwaves throughout the... What <laughs> the hell is this? This isn't the film I gave you. What are you trying to do to me? This is the horror that you gave me to revelar. Why did you have to be enganar? Essas são as fotografias que estavam nele. Eu não tenho culpa. Oh, no. Is it some kind of cruel joke? I bet I'm... It's coming back to me now. For some reason... It's all... She never had it in the first place because it never fell on the floor in the first place. Because I'd already put it back in my pocket. I have travelled halfway across bloody Europe, getting half killed, looking for a roll of film that all the time was inside the lighting of my own bleeding jacket. <laughs> Obrigado.
what are you doing? You kept them all this time. One on the cliff, one on the rocks. That's how they were found. Please put them down, Jean. These are the shoes she was wearing the day she fell. No. I don't think she did fall from that cliff at all. What are you trying? Look! Look at them, Alfonso. Can't you see? Couldn't anyone see what's staring you in the face? I... I... They're both left shoes. Both? <coughs> but that isn't possible. They're from two different pairs. They're not identical, but they're quite similar enough for someone in a hurry pick them both up, thinking they went together, and plant them on the cliff with the torn dress to make it look as if there'd been an accident. No woman would ever have made this mistake, Alfonso. Give you a top up. Mm. Sorry about this. I think the pilot went after something. Your dad's having a look at it now. Mm. It's the business. Oh, yes. I'll get it. Oh, hello. Um, I, uh, is your husband in? I think I owe him an apology for last night and everything. He's in the bath at the moment. Would you like to wait a sec? Shirley! Have you been out in here? Hang on! I'm needed in the kitchen. it really all the people on holiday in Portugal you have to pick a fight with a professional boxer can't wonder he went berserk 
I should think that's the first time a donkey's ever been floored with a left hook. <laughs> How's that going down? All right. Can you manage any more, or...? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Jean's late. Hmm? I hope everything's all right over there. She said she had a feeling Alfonso might propose to her today. Perhaps I'll just give them a quick ring. Yes, I expect so. <laughs> it's ringing, but there's no answer. It's ever since you said that about why there were no pictures of his wife. And that night in the restaurant with those murder stories. Why would he get all agitated? I think we should go over there, Victor. Now. What the I don't know. Look. I'll drive. Stick your shoes on, quickly. I hate to think what we might find. Jean? It's funny how you can go on deceiving yourself. Ignoring what your insides have been telling you all the time. It was... Whenever I mentioned her name, something happened to his eyes. Suddenly, he wasn't looking at me anymore. She never came back. He was looking through me. Back to another world. A world he could never recapture. When I saw the shoes, that's when I started to guess that the whole thing was an invention. The torn dress on the rocks, e even the handbag in the sea, it all added up to one thing. His wife had faked her own death to go and live with someone else. Faked her own death? Afonso worshipped Maria. She was his life. She knew that if she just ran away, he'd only come after her, hound her to the end of his days. She had to make him believe she was gone forever. Well, even at the suggestion another man had been in the house, helping her to plant the evidence, it was as if I wasn't there anymore. Everything that was sacred to her memory, he'd kept hidden away in the cellar. He just couldn't let go. He started searching then through all her belongings for, for some sort of clue. He said he had to know for certain if it was true. And suddenly he remembered. A few years before, 
a business trip she'd made to Faro to see a male colleague. At the time, he half suspected she might have been... Well, from somewhere, he found a phone number and... Of course, who should answer it but... Money. After that, there was no reasoning with him. He said he needed some time to himself now. That it wouldn't change anything between the two of us. To wait a couple of days and he'd call me and we'd pick up where we left off. This makes no difference And I knew then that I'd never see him again. I'm sorry I was in a bit of a state when I got back last night. I'm afraid it's all rather knocked me for six. I find that I always come on the road later. But you probably look like a listener if you had time to realize that things are kind to you. Then we turn back from the bed. You never said a truer word, Mr. Meldrum. <laughs> and I appreciate that very much. I wasn't all that keen on coming to Portugal at first. But now that we're about to leave, I never want to see the bloody place again as long as I live. <laughs> yes, that's the good thing about having a really miserable holiday. It makes the going home such a positive joy. <laughs> when the last time I got back from a holiday abroad to find our house had been demolished. <laughs> oh, yes. Fanny, you can laugh about it now, can't you? you can't really. Well, I guess we'll have to look lively in a minute. We've got a long drive back to the airport. Make sure I've got my passport and everything. Oh, yes, I haven't seen those yet, have I? Is that another album's worth? <laughs> yes. And that roll of film, you know, we thought we'd lost. Found it in the car yesterday. Must have fallen out of someone's pocket or something when they were in the back seat. Now, if I'm right, these should start the day we drove down through the mountains. Now, <laughs> oh my God, what is it? What's wrong? Is that... Was it someone who just looks like him? It can't be him. Where did these come from? How should I know? Where did things ever come from? Oh, God, look, it gets worse. Do you see what they're doing in this one, Mr. Meltro? <laughs> Something beginning with. H. <laughs> mm. 
No. It's one of those professional look-alikes or something. It must be. It's just a practical joke by whoever had the car before us. It's full, whatever it is. I don't want to look at any more of it. I suppose you better ask for the bill. Time's getting on. Uh, uh, conto, por favor. I've got some Portuguese money, I can pay. Are you sure? Senhor, parece-me que estou a ter um ataque coração. Chame-me, vai-me lá, senhor. Senhor, senhor, senhor. Senhor, senhor, senhor. Senhor, senhor, senhor. Tell me I am well past my prime The landlord in the sky's calling time But there's one thing that he ought to know I am not yet ready to go So I'm a wrinkly, crinkly, but don't shed a tear I'm not exactly a little old dear One thing's for sure, I'm still bloody well here One foot in the grave one foot in the grave One foot in the grave 